Hello and welcome to my channel We Learn by Sharun. I am Shraddha Banode and in this series we are learning synchronous machine. In my previous few videos I have shown you what is electrical machines, their classification, construction of synchronous machines, important terms related to it as well as derivation of pitch factor distribution factor and emf equation in today's session i am going to introduce few of the numericals which will use formulas for pitch factor and distribution factor what we have seen earlier for your reference i am giving the link of the previous video in the description box so that you will understand how we derivated pitch factor and distribution factor which we are going to use in this video so let's get going first problem calculate the pitch factor for the given data 36 stator slots four poles and coil span is 1 to 8 now let's first of all write down the given data we are given with 36 number of slots we are given with four number of poles and we are also given with the coil span is 1 to 8. So the coil can be either full pitch or it can be shorted. So in this problem, to understand whether the given coil is full pitch or shorted, we will first of all find out N. N is nothing but slots per pole. So we will substitute and we will get N as equals to 9. So it means that for a full pitch coil, there should be 9 slots in between the two sides of the coil. But the coil span is given as 1 to 8. So what do you think? Whether the coil is shorted by one slot or some other value? See, when you see this value 9 and 8, you will realize it is shorted by one slot. But sometimes it is better to go through figure and try to understand by how many slots it is shorted. So what I will do here, I will draw a section of the stator and I took in a horizontal way to understand it better. And if I put one side of the coil in slot number 1, let's give the slot numbers as well. Now, if I put my first coil in slot number 1, as per full pitch concept, the next side of the coil should be after 9 slots. It will be always 9 plus first slot. So, if it is 1 here, then 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. After 9th slot means in slot number 10. So for full, full pitch coil, the winding will be like this. Okay. But in the problem, it is not given full pitch and it is clearly mentioned that the coil span is 1 to 8. It means if first side is in the slot number 1, another side of the coil should be in slot number 8. In that case, if I will draw the shorted coil, now you can clearly see the difference between two coils is of two slots. So, can I say the coil is shorted by two slots? Yes. So, now you need to take care of this concept here because by numbers you may feel that slot n is coming out to be 9. And coil span is given as 1 to 8. So instead of 9, it is coming to 8. So it is shorted by one slot. But that is not the case. When it is 9n, then the coil is supposed to be kept from 1 to 10. That is after 9th slot. And it is kept 1 to 8. So it is shorted by two slots. It is very, very important. Otherwise, if you will wrongly calculate the number of slots, you will obviously wrongly calculate angle alpha as well as kp. So if you if you got the value that by how many slots the coil gets shorted, then we will find out alpha and we know that it is shorted by two slots. So alpha will be twice beta, where beta is nothing but 180 by n and n is slots per pole, which we got as 9. So we'll substitute the values and we will get beta is equals to 20. Substituting an equation of alpha, it will be alpha is equals to twice beta and we will get alpha as 40 degree. Once we get the value of alpha, let's substitute in Kp equation. Kp is cos alpha by 2. Substituting the value, you will get Kp is equals to 0 0.9396. That is what is asked. 
to find the pitch factor. So this is the answer of pitch factor. On similar fashion, we will take one more numerical, which will clear the concept of pitch factor and shorten angle. Calculate the pitch factor for the given data. 72 status slots, 6 poles and the coil span is 1 to 10. So in a similar way, we will first of all write down the slots, then poles and coil span. Now to get whether the given coil is full pitch or not, and if it is shorted by how many slots it is shorted, we will first of all find out N which is slots per pole. So N comes out to be 72 by 6 which is 12. Now, if suppose we want to keep the full pitch coil, then it will be from 1 to 13. After 12, it should be 13. So let's draw the figure. This is the section of the stator in a horizontal manner. Let's give the numbers. Now, while giving numbers, I have shortened this 3, 4, 5, 6 number of slots in a box so that I can show the figure properly on screen. And if I want to draw the full pitch coil, it will start from slot number 1 and end at slot number 13 after 12th slot. That is the full pitch coil. And the slot which is given, the coil span which is given is 1 to 10. So let's keep our 1 to 10 coil. Now both the coils are there in front of you. And if you compare the two coils, they are both starting from 1 but ending at different slots. By how many slots the given data coil is shorted? Let's count. It is 1, 2 and 3. So the coil is shorted by 3 slots. Clear? The coil is shorted by 3 slots. Now we got alpha is equals to thrice beta because it is shorted by 3 slots. Let's find the value of beta. Beta is 180 by n. n is 12 for this problem. So we will substitute and get the value of beta as 15. Let's substitute the 15 value of beta in alpha and get the value of alpha which comes out to be thrice beta, which is 45 degree. Substitute the value of alpha in pitch factor equation, that is Kp is equals to cos alpha by 2, and you will get the value as 0 0.9238. This is the required value of pitch factor for this particular problem. I hope this thing is clear to you. To, to make our understanding better, we will take one more similar problem, and here, Calculate the pitch factor for the given data, 96 stator slots, 6 poles, coil span is 1 to 12. Okay, let's write down the given data, 96 slots, poles are 6 and coil span is 1 to 12. To again understand whether the given coil is full pitch or not, or if it is shorted, by how many slots it is shorted, let's find out the value of n. n is slots per pole. Here slots are 96, poles are 6, so we will get n as 16. So if n is 16, the full pitch coil has to be from 1 to 17. Let's see. So this is the figure again. Let's give number to the slots. And again, I have taken 2 to 10 number of slots in a box to save the space and understand the shorter pitch better. So, if I keep my full pitch coil from 1 to 17, it will, be, it will look like this. And as per given data, the shortened coil is from 1 to 12. So, let's draw another coil 1 to 12. Now, if you count the number of slots by which the given coil is shorted, it is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, it is shorted by 5 number of slots. So I can clearly mention then the that the coil is shorted by 5 slots. So what will be the value of alpha now? Alpha will be 5 times beta. Where beta is nothing but the slot angle. So let's find out beta. Beta is 180 by n. n for this particular problem is 16. So we'll get the value of beta as 11.5. Let's substitute in alpha. And alpha we get as 56.25. Let's substitute in equation of Kp, which is pitch factor, cos alpha by 2, and we will get the value of pitch factor as 0 0.8819. So our final answer, which is asked in this problem, is pitch factor 0 0.8899. Sorry, 0 0.8819. Clear? Now that was all about Kp. See, 
it's un it is important to understand uh, pitch factor uh, because when we will solve numericals for emf equation first of all you will need to calculate pitch factor and distribution factor so let's take one example of distribution factor as well okay calculate the distribution factor for 36 slots four pole single air three phase winding so in this problem it is given that there are 36 number of slots four number of poles and the winding is three phase. It is important to know that how um, whether it is single phase or three phase winding. Okay, so for distribution factor, now to understand the formula of distribution factor and uh, to understand it uh, in detail, you can watch my previous video, which is there in which I have explained uh, distribution factor in detail, and the link will be shared in description box for your reference. Uh, KD is given by sin m beta by 2 upon m sin beta by 2 so we will be requiring the values of m and beta so for getting the value of beta and m first of all we will need n n will be required in all the problems so we will keep it ready for use so n is slots per pole slots is 36 poles are 4 divide and you will get it as 9 in this problem okay now next we will go for calculating the value of m now what is m m is slots per pole per phase slots per pole is already calculated as n per phase so you cannot put like it is slots per pole per phase so calculating pole per per phase and then substituting in m no you cannot do that you have to first of all calculate slots per pole which is 9 and then you just need to divide it by number of phase if it is single phase it will be as it is if it is three phase divided by 3 and you will get m as 3 here okay next is to calculate beta because we need to substitute in equation of kd beta is given by 180 by n n is 9 as we calculated and we will get the value of beta as 20 so as we have m we have beta let's see the equation of distribution factor kd kd is given by sine m beta by 2 upon m sine beta by 2 okay now, as this is the equation, we will just substitute the values of m beta and we will calculate the value of distribution factor kd. kd is 0 0.9597, right? It is given by 0 0.9597. Now, one thing is clear. Whenever you calculate kp and kd, the value will be always less than 1 and very near to 1, okay? If it is 1, so understand if kp is equals to 1, the coil is full pitch coil or if it is given that the coil is full pitch coil in the problem you will directly take kp as one and if it is given that the winding is concentrated instead of distributed then you will be taking kd is equals to one right so i hope these things are clear to you uh, you are very clear with the concept of pitch factor distribution factor and how they are calculated if you want me to come up with more such videos which will clear your concept about pitch factor, distribution factor and all over synchronous machines, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and happy learning.